We came here to the United States looking for peace. We ran away from the country. We ran away from ISIS. I mean, this is my home. Caught in the chaos of President Donald Trump's travel ban, a Boise family now losing hope. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Karen Lair. Family members stranded a world apart as confusion continues over President Trump's travel ban on certain refugees and immigrants. And one refugee family here in the Treasure Valley is feeling the effects firsthand. Six on your side's Michael Severin joins us live in studio with the details in tonight's big story. Karen, six-year-old Marion Hani is undergoing cancer treatment at a refugee camp in Egypt. And her grandparents in Boise are pleading with the American government to allow her to enter the U.S. Let us cry. She asked her grandma, don't cry. Using Skype is the only way Boise refugee Holda Sadi can speak to her granddaughter, Miriam Hani. The six and a half year old was diagnosed with leukemia last October and she's now undergoing chemotherapy. That's too much. A lot. Uh, I asked her how we're doing. She said, thanks for God. Miriam and her family fled Iraq in 2014 to escape ISIS. Now Miriam's mom is spending her days by her daughter's side. I need to take care of my daughter, so I need to be with her in the hospital. And my husband, he needs to take care of another kids, and we have a young baby around 10 months right now. Her mother says the family spent all their money to get to Egypt, and now they had the financial burden of Miriam's medical expenses. Holder wants to travel to Egypt to help secure a medical visa for Miriam, but fears she would not be allowed back in the U.S. because of President Trump's controversial travel ban. While a federal judge blocked the ban Friday, the Trump administration is fighting to appeal it. He has rights here to protect the country, but there's some circumstance. We are refugees here, so and we we have families overseas. They need help. An immigration lawyer in Boise says while President Trump's executive order does have a case-by-case -case clause, the law does not recognize grandparents as immediate family. When I spoke to this family, I kind of knew that there wasn't much that could be done. The only path that they have is sort of getting creative as far as being able to somehow show up at the U.S. border and ask for asylum. For now, Miriam's family in Boise is sending money to Egypt to help pay for her care. They are also working with social workers who have reached out to Idaho state senators. But so far, they haven't received any news from Washington. They still view uh, refugees from those countries as a security threat, and so that position hasn't changed. Until then, Holda and her family here in the Gem State are holding on to a little hope they have left, while Miriam is in a fight for her life. Do you miss your grandmother? Yeah. And I hope to visit them. And the family social worker is taking donations to help the family pay for Miriam's medical care, but there's still their ultimate goal is to bring her here to Boise. To help visit, to help visit our website, 6 Live in studio, I'm Michael Severin, 6 on your side.